Have you ever wondered how well your playbooks are built and whether they are fulfilling your organization's goals? The Playbook Lifecycle Management contains several specific features designed to help you better understand and analyze playbooks. These features include the playbook widgets in the dashboard screen, playbook monitoring in the playbook screen, and the playbook summary in the cases screen. Together, these three features assist simplify users on three levels. The high level playbooks management in dashboards, the second level for a specific playbook management, which helps you to build a new playbook and maintain an existing one, and the third and most tactical level, better understanding of a specific run of a specific playbook for more efficient investigation of a case by the SOC analyst. Let's take a quick look now at the new playbook dashboard offered out of the box. As you can see, we have lots of different widgets. Here we can see general playbook statistics such as percentage of errors, errors percentage per playbook, and percentage of alerts closed by automation per environment. You can also see the average runtime per playbook, which helps you to spot bottlenecks in specific workflows. All of these widgets are available when creating your own dashboards. Now let's take a look at the playbook monitoring section in the playbook screen. As you can see, we have a panel on the right side of the playbook screen which shows important data about the playbook that you are now looking at. You can choose a time frame that is relevant to your goal and look at the information there. Each visual provides you with important information that can help you to rework your playbook if necessary. More information on this can be found in the Simplified Knowledge Centre. Let's take a quick look at the playbook run status pie chart. This provides you with the knowledge of how many of the playbook runs are either stopped by an error or waiting for the user's action. This can help you to understand, for example, if you have any repetitive errors to fix. You can actually see this information if you hover over a specific action. Let's just close this. And it'll show you the success rate and the error rate. Opening back up the playbook monitoring screen, um, another important aspect to understand if your playbook runs as expected is to check your conditions branches data and make sure you don't have a faulty branch that was misconfigured. And again, you can do this by hovering on the branch number or going into the condition dialog. The playbook trend section will provide a tool to understand whether the changes you have implemented actually made a difference over time. It can also provide you with an understanding of this playbook's routine and can help you learn about the behaviour of a specific attack or use case. The third layer of the playbook visibility improvements is the one that will actually make your analyst investigations shorter and easier. How? Well, whenever you click a playbook in the cases screen, the right panel will display and will show the playbook summary. Instead of having to click on every playbook step to understand what really happened on a specific playbook run, you get a quick snapshot with all the necessary information. The playbook summary actually flattens the entire conditional decision tree to the one path that this specific run of the playbook actually got to. The upper part will include the playbook name, playbook status, date and time that it started running, and run length if the playbook finished actually running. In the next section, you'll see all the integrations that took part in a specific run of the playbook. When clicking on a specific integration, it'll highlight the step in the playbook. If the playbook stopped running due to an error or a manual action, then it will be presented at the very, very top, which will allow you to see immediately that you need to take action. The goal here is to give the analyst the simplest picture to understand at a glance the most necessary part. So to sum up, these are the three main features of the Playbook Lifecycle Management feature offered in this release.